Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and I finally watched The Social Network. Yeah, I know, took me long enough. This was directed by David Fincher, we all know who he is. It was written by Aaron Sorkin, we all know who he is. And it starred Jesse Eisenberg, Justin Timberlake, Andrew Garfield, among others. This was based off the book The Accidental Billionaires, written by Ben Mesrich, and it was released in 2010. If you've clicked on this video, you know exactly what this movie is, so any repetition of the plot seems rather superfluous. However, long story short, it's about the creation of Facebook, how Mark Zuckerberg, well, to steal the tagline from the movie's poster, made about 500 million friends, but made a few enemies along the way, specifically his potential business partners, the Winklevoss twins, played by Army Hammer, yes, one actor playing twins, and his, at the time, best friend named Eduardo, played by Andrew Garfield. This came out during a time where I was watching movies, but not really watching movies seriously, if that makes any sense at all. So, I always made a point to try and watch and review this. However, I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Until finally I decided, you know what, in 2022, I am going to finally watch The Social Network and make a video of it. And so, here we are. And now that I have actually seen The Social Network, I have no idea what took me so long to watch it, but yes, it is as good as people have made it out to be. Because of the people, both in front of and behind the camera, this is about as great a movie about the creation of Facebook as we're probably ever going to get. David Fincher's direction is dang near impeccable. Every shot is just set up so well that this movie could have been almost a silent movie, and you would know exactly what was happening. And this being an Aaron Sorkin movie, everybody talks about the pace of a machine gun, but it's also, it, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, because while watching this, I actually had to turn on the subtitles just to catch everything that everybody was saying, which I guess is a criticism, but being as though I wanted to catch everything that everybody was saying, it shows how much I got sucked in. So it's a bit of a yes and a bit of a no. In my research, I found that Aaron Sorkin really didn't sign on to this because of any personal feelings towards Facebook. He did it because he read literally three pages of The Accidental Billionaires and said, I want to do this. In, in an interview, he said that this is a classic story of friendship, betrayal, loyalty, and so on. I rarely talk about scores in my reviews, not for any particular reason, it's just that I I don't want to say that I don't notice, but it's just something that I'm not necessarily looking for. The score in this movie is fantastic, created by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. They went above and beyond. They set an ambiance to where it's it, make, it makes this movie feel different, despite the familiar story. Reznor and Ross's score is so good that they took a well-known classical tune in In the Hall of the Mountain King, and they put their own spin on it, and it fits in so well with the Winklevosses and their crew meet that that score combined with what has happened in the movie so far, it's that it shows that the Winklevosses, no matter how they try in this situation, they're always going to come in second. And I think that's as good a place as any to talk about the story, because, yeah, the story in this movie is so dang engaging. I also find it fascinating that watching this movie now, knowing everything that we know about Facebook, it's so fascinating. Facebook, at the end of this movie, is set, is given a net worth of about $25 billion. I don't have the exact figures here with me. But I'm pretty sure it has well surpassed that, so much so that Zuckerberg just won't shut up about this dang metaverse thing, which I am reliably informed is going to kill us all, unlike several other things, but I won't be <laughs> touching on any of those issues, because that's well above my pay grade. And even though Facebook would grow to just gargantuan heights, the movie does a great job of making it just about two friends, Mark Zuckerberg, and Eduardo. 
It keeps the story grounded in that relationship, and I think that's why it works. The movie also does a good job of not really taking a side. Zuckerberg is not really present, he's presented as a bit of a villain, but he justifies his actions. The movie does a good job of showing that Facebook originally was presented by the Winklevoss twins as essentially, like, just keeping it within Cambridge University and as a way to pick up girls. And Zuckerberg was like, all right, I'll take that idea and I'll remix it. And Winklevoss, and the Winklevosses got all up in arms and they were like, he stole our idea. And the Winklevosses do indeed present a good case. However, Zuckerberg in the movie says, so I, so what? I'm, if I invent a chair, I have to pay royalties to the guy who invented the chair? So, yeah, that's a good point too. From one perspective, Zuckerberg stepped on a lot of people to get to where he is now. However, it was also presented in the position of it was either going to be Zuckerberg or somebody else. And Zuckerberg seemed like the kind of guy who didn't want to make it anyone else but him. So, it's complex. And at the end of the day, I have no idea if this is Fincher's best movies. I've only seen seven, Alien 3, Gone Girl, and this. So I haven't seen his entire filmography. However, of the ones that I have seen, this is probably my favorite, and in many ways, is still relevant. This movie was nominated for the 2010 Best Picture, and it went to The King's Speech. Now, while I love The King's Speech to pieces, I think just in terms of relevance, I think The Social Network should have won. But that's just my two cents on the matter, and no offense to The King's Speech. I still think that movie was very well made. But if you're watching this video, you probably have seen The Social Network, so what was your favorite moment from The Social Network? Leave it in the comments. I'd love to read what you guys have to say. And stay tuned for next Sunday, where I'll be dropping my my video for the M. Night Shyamalan film, Unbreakable, and why I think that that movie is better than you remember. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, I'll see you in the next one.